hello friends um, welcome to this new video of the series solved for messy mcqs this is uh, part 19 of the series and uh, a big welcome to all the friends here uh, in this video again we are uh, going to try to solve a set of 10 mcqs and uh, also uh, we will try to discuss them as much as possible in this video so please stay with me friends um, along this whole video and uh, I hope you will learn something or other from this video and uh, please uh, if you would like me to continue making such videos then please do support me by subscribing to my channel and uh, liking my video and sharing the same with your professional friends so big welcome once again friends thanks for being here and uh, thanks for your time so let's start uh, this uh, set of mcqs and uh, we will try to discuss them and and try to solve them so be with me thank you friends our first mcq of this video iv leaves are used for cuff relief colic relief general back pain tooth pain acid problem actually iv leaves are used for cuff relief this is actually a medicinal agent that is used um, in the management of cuff so now we know what iv leaves are used for so friends our second mcq uh, daily safe upper limit for vitamin b12 supplement intake is so options are given 1000 microgram 2000 microgram 5000 microgram 1 milligram or 10 milligram so actually the daily safe upper limit dose for vitamin b12 is 2000 microgram actually it is <laughs> recommended not to take more more than this dose that is 2000 milligram so actually you can take uh, in a day of 500 milligram uh, sorry 500 micrograms uh, tablets of uh, vitamin b12 um, but not more than four tablets so so b is the correct option here now moving on to the third MCQ uh, daily safe upper limit for iron mineral supplement intake is again uh, in this MCQ we are asked about the daily safe upper limit that is the the maximum dose of the mineral iron per day that is recommended uh, so options are 17 milligram 50 milligram 100 milligram 300 milligram or 500 milligram so actually 17 milligram is the daily safe upper limit dose for iron mineral supplementation now our fourth mcq uh, daily safe upper limit for iodine mineral supplement intake is so options are 50 microgram 500 microgram 1 milligram 200 microgram or 850 microgram actually 500 microgram is the daily safe upper limit dose of iodine mineral now daily safe upper limit for vitamin d supplement intake is uh, again options are 1 milligram 2000 microgram 5000 microgram 25 microgram and 300 microgram actually the um, daily safe upper limit for vitamin d supplement is 25 microgram this is the uh, daily safe dose of vitamin d supplement that is 25 microgram 
now moving on to the sixth mcq uh, in posology the infant age group lies between uh, posology is actually uh, the study of dosage uh, so our uh, sixth mcq asks us to identify the infant age group so options are given first four weeks of life one month to one year first week of life one to three years or three to five years so actually this mcq asks us about the infant age group and that is one month to one year this is actually the infant age group now the seventh mcq in posology the neonate age group represents children of first four weeks of life one month to one year first week of life one to three and three to five years actually the new nets are actually the new comers so new net actually uh, age group lies in first four weeks of life so a is the correct option here mm. now moving on to the eighth mcq friends in posology the toddler age group represents children of so again the same options are given and we have to identify the toddler age group this age group actually lies between 1 to 3 years now our next mcq in posology the adolescent age group lies between so again age groups are given and uh, we have to identify the adolescent age group so actually the adolescent age group lies between 13 to 18 years now the last mcq of this video in pharmacology the cockroft galt formula is useful in the treatment of so options are given lean body weight serum creatinine creatinine clearance body mass index bmi or a dose for children so actually the cockroft galt formula it is useful in the estimation of retinin clearance so c is the correct option here friends uh, i think this is enough for now uh, thanks for watching and uh, please do support me by liking this video and sharing it with your friends and uh, also subscribing to my channel so you will get notified for the future upcoming uh, videos of this series